What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Anno 1800. We are just diving into the next treasure hunt here, the next diving bell spot to find hopefully some good artifacts here for our museum that we can expand and we got a silver sword. Nothing too exciting in this case here. So I'm just going to unload some scraps there and hopefully we find the other island there on time. Even then it wouldn't matter that much. It's kind of a long island, what I can see here. So we should just find something that is a bit more stretched and I think it's this one here. Yeah, perfect. There it is. And perhaps we even find the spot here right away. This looks a bit strange. What is that? Oh, I haven't seen one of these yet uh, on the ocean there. I don't know why it's there. Does it mark the spot perhaps? I don't know. I don't think so. Just some ornamental stuff there. But yeah, I can't see the spot right now. So we'll probably have to wait. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Very good. So we can do this uh, mission there on time as well. Just, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so back in Crown Falls, I've already up upgraded here some more tiles here, exhibits for the museum, so we can expand on that. And yeah, we, uh, the museum is coming along pretty well, I'd say. So we already have quite a few more tiles open here now, and we definitely want to fill it out to the maximum, because I really want to reach the highest attractiveness level there. So that's something here. And we still have the World's Fair, and with exhibitions, I'm a bit hesitant to go for the sumptuous one. Let's try a modest again. So the lowest one, and it doesn't cost us anything, you know. We do have those things there, and hopefully we can reach the highest rewards for that. Because I don't think I can reach the highest reward for the sumptuous exhibition at the moment. I don't know why. It seems to be a bug. It could also because there are some rides here close by so many things could be happening here i don't i don't know so we're, we're just going to skip them for a while and just you know be happy with well upgrading more engineers to investors always always a nice thing here more of those investors we want to get so many investors we're coming close to twenty thousand now and this is not enough yet so i'd say we need more of them another block here and I just love how much influence we have, despite having the highest propaganda at the moment in the newspapers too. So that's something worth to note. Alrighty, so last time we stopped with also looking at our bicycles, which is still looking pretty, well, fragile. Especially if I want to upgrade to more investors, we need more of those bicycles. I think we do have enough cow chug as far as I know. Yes. It's going down a bit, but I think the next ship will be coming in soon with Kauchuk. So what we should focus on is steel. We really don't have much steel there in Crown Falls. So what I want to do is I want to get up another steel production. So we do have in Kuzlovich, we actually have two iron uh, deposits and a coal deposit that we're not using at the moment. Now that would be a good thing actually to go for more steel. So in Narval, I think we do have... Oh no, actually it's in Sifington. It's always in Sifington. Oh, we actually have a full steel output here in Sifington. So probably we should get a second ship on it then. Just say the word. Where's where's my ship? Where's my steel trader? This one. It's only taking 100 tons each time. That's definitely not enough. So we need to have a second ship on that trade route. Actually, we just want to have a trade route with steel. So that would be Sifington to Crown Falls. Right, so in Sifikton we want to load more steel. It seems like one ship is not enough for that. I mean, this ship is only taking like 100 tons each time. So we want to have a second ship that is transporting 200 tons each time. And we have so many... Oh, we actually have schooners here too. That we haven't used in a long time. I think those were one, one of the first ships that we built. So we should kind of keep them as a museum piece. Something like that. What I want to do is, uh, look at that, so many cargo ships that are free at the moment. So we take the turbulence here, and turbulence is now transporting a bit more steel here to from Siffington to Crown Falls. And I also want to upgrade the storage here, the depots here in Siffington. And this is not looking good here at all. Yeah, but it's not possible. It's not possible to get it closer here, you know. This would actually fit aesthetically. So I don't know why we can't do that. 
we need free harbor area so yeah not working out but here we can actually do that two more i think that's good right that's 100 tons more that's exactly what we need for that and yeah devil may care <laughs> that's a good name and this ship here actually has 100 steel on it which is not much you know considering that we actually produce so much it's already going up there again so it should be fine now um what i can do is i can have another steelworks here a furnace we don't want to have those furnaces on crown falls really would we'll just tank my attractiveness so we're just getting them to siffington here much better value here so what i want to do here in crown falls where is my furnaces look at them ugly looking things here let's get rid of them this of course will tank my oh actually my attractiveness go went down just now even though my pollution went down how is that possible? Let's have a second look. I should still have... Oh, yeah. Oh, now it went up again. Very strange. So I just deleted my furnaces and the attractiveness went down. I don't quite understand this. It doesn't matter. So we just got rid of furnaces. That also means that we probably will... Let's have a check there at the steel rod that I just had, we probably will need to transport more iron and coal to Siffington then. Because otherwise, of course... So in Siffington, no, in Crown Falls, we're going to load a bit of iron. Oh, look at that, how much iron we have in Crown Falls. We're really capped. And also 100 tons of coal. Right, and we're going to unload that in Siffington. And we really have to make sure that we are never really capping um, the storage here in Siffington. You know, otherwise the ship will be um, congested with uh, coal and iron and we really don't want that. So we should always be able to unload iron and coal and that means we need to have more furnaces. I think I can have one more. That should be important. Actually, I can actually have two. Two more. That's good. Two more here. Perfect. And yeah, just for the sake of it, let's have another warehouse there. And that's a copper deposit. So I think I've used everything here. Yeah. Perfect. So quite a lot of furnaces. I think they're already working. Nope. Actually, we could. No, we can't. It would decrease the happiness there way too much. Perhaps we have an item that kind of boosts that furthermore. Though I don't think so. For the sewing machines. Oh, all mountain mines. But nothing for... This is a very important one, Susanna. So the cab assembly line. Instead of steam motors, we're using light bulbs. Very, very cool item. But other than that, we're pretty much set up with the items right now. So that should actually do the trick here, you know. So we should get a lot more steel now to crown falls. And that hopefully fixes kind of my my bicycle problem look at that my caoutchouc is already capped again so we are really producing too much caoutchouc i'm just waiting now for the steel to come in and then hopefully we can finally produce some serious bicycles that we need let's have another one here i think they need electricity yes yes but this is all in the radius here that shouldn't be a problem then and here i want to have another warehouse then actually we have one here and one here perfect so this is a really real industrial district here which of course we could also decorate a bit before we do that however i want to have another propaganda here and the minus 50 percent right chance of course we're going to reduce propaganda eventually once our productions are stable and once we have so many investors that we don't need to focus on other productions anymore and in this case, there's a bit of too much green here, in my opinion. Too much empty green land, so we could use this for some decorations, actually. Even though it's just a industrial district, that doesn't mean that it needs to be ugly, you know. There we can have a little fountain square here between those two factories. There are still people living here, too, so it should look a bit better than that. And also, some mature trees here. Because, of course, we want to get up that attractiveness here. Very important. Mm. 
And then we also have the expedition. Let's have a look at that. Blood, oil, sweat and tears. An overweight ship is easy prey for stormy waves. The oil merchants your crew met at the last harbor paid good money for their cargo to be stored aboard your ship. But the weight isn't really something your vessel can handle. At the first signs of tempest winds and cutting waves, the unusual ballast makes your ship heal furiously. Release the stern anchor, plus 50%. Safe. The cast iron shank of the anchor plunges into the shifting waves with a large splash. The amount of chain being just right for it to take good hold of the seabed. The ship wobbles, washed by the winds and the waves, but manages to stay put. The sailors simply wait for the storm to pass and hope the extra load will not cause any more problems. Okay, so far so good. No big deal here. We're still in a pretty high morale rounds here but it's a level one botanical expedition so i'm not expecting any serious problems there we kind of have a lot of, of empty space here that we could use otherwise you know we could have like two yeah why not two farmers there it's in the in the area of the marketplace there i don't want to have green stuff everywhere you know so this one here What is that? I haven't used that tree yet. Oh, those look kind of cute, I'd say. Not the fullest trees that we've seen so far. And here, actually, let's use some flower beds into that little alley here. The street going right for that farmhouse there. And then also some trees there. Oh, we already have some there. Perfect. That's that. Okay, just that we have, have it covered everything here that we wanted and I think we also have something here oh yeah I'm, I'm going to wait here a bit because there we have the schnapps distilleries and we certainly don't need that many anymore so soon I'm going to clean up this mess here we don't need that much schnapps anymore and we could just you know import it anyway too so no problem we still have some rights here what I can see so no rights here anymore my botanical, my exhibition here is almost completed. We just need a few more grapes. And yeah, then we still have a few. Okay, only the farmers are a bit pissed at the moment. But other than that, a few rides here and there. Where's the police in this area? Here, there is the police. But we can't, we can't actually mobilize them right now. Yeah, perhaps I should really go down with the propaganda there a bit. You know, so that I leave one field empty in the future. Just, I'm just going to use two fields there now, from now on. And my expedition has returned. Also very good. Let's have a look at that. We have the yellow lotus. Oh, the gunguru. So we have two rare items there. Very good. And the champ pack. Perfect. Because of course we want to, you know, focus on a new botanical garden. A big one. Soon. Oh yeah, and Sean. Yeah, probably we're going to, to destroy Sean soon. I just kind of I like the idea of having him around somehow. So I'm just, you know, paying him some money there so he's happy. I mean, he never really looks happy. But so far so good. I mean, this is going to uh, affect my newspapers again, of course. And yeah, this, this kind of worries me here. I don't know how he can have such a high military, perhaps because he's got harbor defenses everywhere. So we're going to ramp up those defenses soon as well. I think we actually do have some weapons here. Yes. So let's... Yeah, I still don't, I still haven't finished the harbor area here really. So this is not looking good at all. So what we should do also is give Crown Falls a new harbor. Let's get rid of those military ships there. We already have two piers here, which is fine. How, how did I do it in, in Sleepy Hollow? Let's see. Because that is actually looking quite nice. So we'll need a bigger a bigger harbor there for Crown Falls. And I'm going to reinforce my other islands here too with some... You know, with some harbor defenses so we can catch up with the Admiral. Because at some point, of course, we want to defeat him. And thanks for the tip, but I'm not buying any islands of the Admiral. That would be easy, of course, but he would declare war on me right away. So we can't do that right now. Still good 
So that's that. Okay, what we can see now here in Crown Falls is that we've got lots of oil. So finally we are, you know, kind of like stable with oil. We really have a lot of that. And what we can also see is that there is another train waiting before you can depart for this train here. You know, this train probably will need to cross the crossroads here first. So it, it's gone now. And then I think the second train will soon come out of that. But we've got enough oil here. So what I want to do is I want to upgrade this or finally build this power plant here that we've built long ago the blueprint for. There we have it now. So this will give electricity to this whole area here. You know, we still don't have electricity here for my people around the museum. And of course, we also want to achieve that. And we also have lots of workers here, as we can see that we want to upgrade in this little district here. Also lots of workers here and lots of farmers here. I need to be careful to up with the farmers. As you can see, we are just plus one now. So just barely holding up here with that. But we can still upgrade many more of those workers before that takes any effect. We still have way too many of them. Why can I not upgrade them? Oh, they need a school. There's no school close by here. So it will probably be this area here, yeah. This, this, these few buildings there, we don't need that. And we can replace it with a school. It would fit in here perfectly, like that. Then we have a street going over here. And, well, perhaps some, some little ornaments again. A watering hole here for the horses, as usual. And perhaps then some temperate grove here. Which is a mixture of grass, bushes and trees. Which kind of looks natural to me. I mean, it's a city area, so actually it shouldn't look natural, you know, because it's built by us. But it doesn't matter for this case. I just like the look of it. Now we can upgrade those workers here. So let's do that. We can have many more, many more artisans here. Oh, so many. Beautiful. And yeah, workers are going down now, as we can see. So it's getting close. We're not able to upgrade that many anymore before we have to stop there. And now we also have some oil here in this power plant. A lot of oil coming in and boom, we're producing electricity in this area now too. Those engineers finally have it and we should now be able to upgrade them. Once of course this last guy moved in here into this building there. And then we can upgrade those people here. Now we can do that. Perfect. It's coming up. So we just need to wait for a bit more timber here and then we can upgrade this final patch of engineers here. Let's upgrade those artisans in the meantime. More engineers. Perfect. I just want to check my bicycle storage here real quick. So steel is still low because of course we're using quite a lot of that. But oh yeah, we finally have bicycles. So it's not at zero anymore or like, you know, like diving around somewhere there. And let's also have a look at my pocket watches real quick. Where are they? Okay, perfect. We also have some pocket watches now. So we kind of solved this. We have lots of gold there so we can produce them. And yep, those two are now fulfilled. That's very important to keep the happiness high. Only the farmers have not negative happiness now and we're going to solve that soon. So that's looking fine so far. And yep, I'm just going to wait now for a bit of timber there. What we can do in the meantime is having another treasure hunt here for artifacts because we want to use or we want to get more artifacts here in Cape Trelawney. That's animals. We don't want animals anymore. Artifacts in the old world. I still want to know if there are other artifacts in Cape Trelawney here, you know, that we can find. Okay, so we can't see it here right away on the ship. So it's one of those islands here. Might actually be one of these. One of the bigger ones, I think. So let's let's move the ship down here and then hopefully we get a signal. That's that. And what I also wanted to do, uh, what we haven't done in a long time, is I wanted to do some quests. So we still have some, of course, some missions that we need to do for the next episode then. So I'm going to plan a big harbor and a big botanical garden since we've got lots of items for that now. So those things are really important that we'll need to do. But I'm going to plan them before I build them. And I think, yeah, also the exhibition is over now. And again, it's a really small reward there. So I think I was disappointed there. There were no delicate fruits and sweetmeats to eat. I don't understand. You know, we were capped 
spent on the resources. A disappointment. Hopefully next time there will be a bit more inspiration. Hmm. That is really strange. I just don't get it. Hatch maze, oriental cherry, gem pack. So yeah, let's let's have a look at the other, you know, let's have a look at the archaeological one. So just that I confirm that it's really just affecting the botanical ones. Let's see, we have everything here. Let's just wait it out a bit and then hopefully we get the highest rewards there. If they're not the highest rewards, then it's definitely something like the rights here, you know, affecting that. Okay, let's go back to the old world. I think there was a quest here somewhere. Yep, there is a quest here. Let's let's have a look at that. Can you believe it? Those pigs won't let us in on our precious club. We'll let them know what they can kiss, those bourgeois. You might want to have your camera ready. Photography quest. Oh, they want to get into the noble club or something, right? It's over here somewhere. There's the noble club of the dissident worker. Yep, it's here somewhere. There it is. There are workers somewhere. I don't see them. But that was the quest. Members club shamed. Lower rung knave dances in the buff. Like some demonic pixie outside renowned gentleman's club. Bringing the whole place into disrepute. Okay. I guess that was fun. We have another... Newspaper, so I'm going to leave this one here without propaganda this time. We're just going to have minus 50 here and minus 30 here. Okay, so one empty, so that should reduce the chance for rights. Because I really want to go down there with the rights. Unfortunately, we destroyed Hugo, you know, and Hugo kind of like had beautiful propaganda against rights. So the minus 100% right article, we kind of bumped it there, unfortunately. Because I'm a woman, many question if the breakthrough really is mine. As such, it gives me the greatest pleasure to be photographed beside the steam shipyard where my new engine will be used. Another photography quest. And she wants to be here with the steam shipyard. Woman invents something. <laughs> woman invents something. It may seem concited to ask to have your photograph taken beside one's own invention, says female steam engine inventor, but you'd never have done it otherwise. Woman invents something, that's a nice title there. And yeah, that was another quest. Unfortunately, we don't have any such quests here in, in Crown Falls, you know, so there are no quests popping up here. Well, that's a shame. Would be good to have some quests here from time to time. So we have to go back to Sleepy Hollow there from time to time to just do that. And yeah, I don't know. We do have a signal now on the Echo there, so on the treasure hunt, and there it is. So let's go there real quick and also get this artifact there, so we are really saving up some artifacts there. Good thing. A woman invents something. Yeah, she invented a steam engine, it seems. Oh, and we get the Aureus coin, so nothing new there, a new rare item, unfortunately no epic or legendary so far. But well, they wouldn't be epic or legendary if you would get them all the time. So we got a few new artifacts there coming in for the museum, some new heights for our attractiveness. And then we're just going to wait here for this exhibition to finish, look at that, it's piling up already. So we're definitely going to be able to fill it up to the highest level and I'm eager to see if we get those rewards. Stay tuned.